Hello friends and welcome to our next class and in this class we will be learning about star schema and extended star schema. This is one of the most important concept as with the help of this we will be able to design our info cube. What is star schema? In data warehousing and business intelligence a star schema is the simplest form of a dimensional model in which data is organized into facts and dimensions. A fact is an event that is counted or measured, such as a sales or quantity. A dimension contains reference information about the fact, such as date, product, or customer. A star schema is diagrammed by a fact or transaction table, surrounded by dimension or fact table. The resulting diagram resembles a star. So this is how our star schema looks like. There is a fact table surrounded by dimension table. A maximum of 16 dimension table can be attached to our fact table. These are connected with primary key. And we all know a table can contain maximum of 16 primary key. So maximum number of dimension possible are 16. Let's get into the concept of star schema. Let us take a master table, master table, which has information about customer name, number, and PIN. Another master table which has got an information about material, number, material ID, and its location. Likewise, we will be having 16 master table or dimension table. And these table are connected to our fact table, which is also called as transaction table, as you can see over here. Now, there are there are disadvantage of this star schema that are since our master table is inside the cube, it has reduced its reusability. Let's take an example. We are having an another cube which requires the same master data for its fact table, though it has got a different fact table. But since this master table is inside our cube. The, uh, we won't be able to use it so this is one of the disadvantage next one is over here we can see it is using an alphanumeric number that is customer number and material number and alphanumeric numbers are slow in processing in comparison with our numeric so this is the one next disadvantage apart from that a fact table can hold a maximum of 16 dimension tables and we know our SAP BW is an OLAP system which is used for analysis. And so anal analyzing of only 16 dimensions is not our aim. So this is our third disadvantage. So first one is master table is inside the cube. So the re reusability is reduced. Next one, it has alphanumeric values which takes more time for processing than numbers. And the last analysis can be done of only 16 characters. So to come up with this problem, the SAP has come up with extended star schema. Now we will see how extended star schema has take overtaken all the disadvantages that star schema has got. First one, it has it has kept master table outside the info cube. So now it can be used by multiple info cubes. First disadvantage is overcome. Next one, it, we had a problem of alphanumeric values. So what SAP has done is, it has come up with a concept of SID table, where there is surrogate ID. Over here, the alphanumeric values are converted into numeric ones. Let's suppose we are having a customer number C001. It had written its SID value as one, only one. So likewise, let's suppose if we are having customer ABC321, it would name it at ABC 321420 and so likewise so the problem of alphanumeric has gone so the problem of slow processing of alphanumeric values has gone as it has been replaced by numeric values the last one it was uh, since we could analyze only 16 characters the SAP has come up come up with a solution with this by taking a help of a di dimension table now what does this dimension table do is 
it had improved the an analysis of report to a very high extent. Earlier we used to analyze only 16 characters and or 16 dimensions but here we will be analyzing a transaction or a record for nearly of about 4000 ways. We will see how this happens. So when a cube is created we specify the dimension. So every dimension table will have one field of dimension ID which will be in our fact table or transaction table. The number of dimension we have specified that many dimension ID will be there. So maximum of 16 dimension ID we can store as any table can have maximum of 16 key fields. Now we will see how it had improved the analysis. Now one table can have maximum of 256 fields of which one is used by dimension ID and the rest 7 is used by system for its internal purpose. So now we are left with 248 fields. Now in this example I am talking about a single dimension table. So a single dimension table can hold 248 characters. Likewise we will be having 16 dimension tables. So 16 into each of one will be holding 248 characters. So 16 into 248 will give you 3968 which is very near to 4000. So this is how we had increased the analysis and we are able to analyze a particular transaction or record in nearly 4000 ways. The assignment of characters that is customer number or material number into a particular dimension ID is not done just blindly. The assignment of characters into the into their respective dimension ID will be purely depend upon their cardinality relationship. Let's have a look at it. Techniques to assign characters to dimensions. Let us take an example which has got a hundred customer and it produces two hundred products. Now the relationship between customer and product is one is too many. That is one customer can have all the two hundred products or can use all the 200 products. So C001 is our customer number uses all the 200 products likewise all 100 customers uses 200 products. Now let us take two cases wherein we have taken a dimension table which has got both the both the characters that is customer number as well as material number and another one we have allotted one dimension table with one customer number and another dimension table, dimension table with another customer table. So of the of these two cases which would be best? Over here like I said earlier we are having 100 customer and each of the customer will be using each 200 product. So Okay, for each customer it will be having 200 material likewise for for all the 100 customer it would be having all 200 products transaction. So in all we have got 100 into 200 that is 20,000 of transaction. But in the other case since we have a separate dimension the customer number will be having all 100 customers whereas a material number would be having all 200 products. So we will be simply adding over here and we will get only 300 records. So clearly over here we can see that case 1 is bad in comparison with the case 2. The reason it had happened so it, even though we had combined both the both the character and still we are getting 20,000 because we have not followed the cardinality relationship. If the relationship is one to one then those characteristics are placed in same dimension. But if the dimension is one is too many then we should assign it in different dimension. Now over here we know that customer and material has got a one is too, ma one is too many relationship. So keeping them in two different dimension had helped us a lot. Whereas once we have kept these characters in 
to a single dimension it had cost so with 20000 records so maintaining the dimension table with their respective characteristic is one of the important task in a project the conclusion is advantage of extended star schema the master table is outside the info cube so the reusability has maximized the alphanumeric value which it, which it had is converted to numeric values through surrogate ID. And the last one, with the help of dimension table, we have improved the analysis. So all in all, when an info object is created, a master table and SID table is generated. And when the info object is loaded, the master table and SID table is filled. Similarly, when an info cube is created, dimension table and fact table is created and when the cube is loaded dimension table and fact table is filled so that's all for today's class thank you